In 2014, Argentine director Lisandro Alonso made an internationally produced film called Hauha. It's about a Danish captain in Patagonia on a quest to find his daughter who's eloped with a young infantryman. It stars Viggo Mortensen as the lead, which was an obvious casting choice given that he's fluent in both Danish and the Argentine Spanish dialect. It's my dad to look at these in the Zuluaga. It's an official very certero. Yeah. Guapo. Pero no es un poco. Acá la gente habla de más. What's in my heart? Smoke for him. We'll hear the lead smoke. The film is more on the art house side, so for some it might be too slow and strange, and for others it might be a great mood piece. But I don't want to review the movie's flaws and merits. Instead, I want to see if I can make sense of the compelling and puzzling visual style. Hauha is set during the Conquest of the Desert, which was a campaign of expansion in the 1870s that killed and displaced the indigenous people of Patagonia. Hay que matarlos a todos. While officials at the time adopted the desert nomenclature to falsely imply that there were no inhabitants there, it's easy to see how the terminology caught on. The southernmost tip of South America has a desolate quality. To enhance this look, Finnish cinematographer Timo Salminen uses a small aperture for a deeper depth of field. It adds to the epic feeling of scale when you can see all the way up to the horizon line. During the nighttime shots, Salminen uses artificial lighting to maintain the small aperture, which makes the foreground look like an eerie stage against a matte painting. Also, the director places some actors in the foreground and others far in the background to emphasize the scale of the wide angles and depth of field. These shots linger because it takes a while for the actors to reach their marks. This is partly why the movie drags for some, but I think it adds to the overall middle of nowhere aesthetic. So if all of this is in service of creating an expansive epic sense of scale, then why the 4x3 aspect ratio? It could be because the dissonance caused by the combination of a claustrophobic aspect ratio and extreme wide shots adds to the surreal look, but that seems like too vague an explanation. It could also just be a quirky visual touch to give the movie a dated film look. I can't quite put my finger on why Alonso and Salminen chose this framing, but it works and I'm okay to leave it at that. Hauha is a postcard from Limbo that you won't soon forget. Check it out when you're in the mood for a strange, slow journey through time.